guys so this is a response this is a response video to those of you having trouble with virtual hard drives um deleting them and creating them i'm gonna go ahead and show you real quick how to um create and delete one so you go to my computer manage okay and then you want to go to disk management This should show you all your disks that are currently mounted on, on your system. Okay, so now we're going to go create a virtual hard drive. All you got to do is right click on disk management. I'm sorry. Yeah, right click on disk management and then you want to create a, a virtual hard drive. So I'm going to browse and save it. You can save it anyway, but I'm, I'm just going to save it on my desktop for now and I'm going to call it Sam. And I'm just gonna make it 600 megs, and I'm gonna choose a fixed size. Okay, so now you can see the virtual hard drive is created right here, but you can't do anything with it yet. Um, let's look for it over here. Okay, so now it's created, but like I said, you can't do anything. You cannot click on it; it won't it won't do anything. Um, you can go to my computer and you still can't see it what you have to do is this is it right here you can even see it has a little red arrow to it it's not initialized so what you gotta do first is initialize it so you right click on it and initialize the disk okay you just take out defaults over here and now the disk is initialized but still you, you still can't click on this file or do anything to it um, uh, Okay, so you can't click on it and when you go to my computer, you still can't see the disk named Sam. So now, next thing you need to do to make that happen is you have to make it a new simple volume. So I'm going to do that. And next here, take the defaults there. Um, and here's where you assign it a drive letter. I'm going to assign it to the letter V. And I'm going to make it an NTFS and just take defaults over here. Okay, so now it's finished. So now you can even see that it changed over here. So let's give, let's give that a second. Okay, so now it's actually a physical disk. So now I can go to my computer and I should see Sam over here. And this is the new volume that we created. Of course, you can rename it whatever you want. So now I can go in there and I can actually copy something and paste it into it. So it's, it's acting just like a another hard drive okay so now the thing is this this hard drive is virtual so what you are seeing here is a virtual file and that virtual file is what you have saved on your desktop you can't necessarily do anything with this virtual hard drive I can click on it and it won't open this is where it is so this is what you copy if you wanted to trans transport this hard drive somewhere else this is this is the file that you actually copy and send it somewhere else and just mount it so um, to answer your question, Mr. Kado, I'm sorry if I said that wrong, but uh, this is how you create it. And this file, you can't open this file. You can only open it under my computer as a as a virtual hard drive. So to delete it, what you do is you cannot just go over here and say delete. It's it's gonna scream at you and say, you know, you know, it's it's not gonna work. Okay, how, what you need to do to delete it is you need to detach it. So the first thing you need to do is go back to my computer management, right click on it and then you detach the virtual hard drive okay and it's gonna tell you give you this warning um, go ahead and detach it and once it's detached you're not gonna see it here over here anymore so now I can conveniently go over here and I can delete this file and then the, it goes away so it's in my trash can right now so that is how you create and delete it um, the file you saw on the desktop, like I said, is, is, is the virtual hard drive file. That's the virtual file that you created. You can't necessarily do anything to it. But when you mount it as a new volume, then it, it comes over here as a new hard drive. So you can't necessarily browse this file, but you can copy it and you can mount it. Um, let me show you something real quick while I'm at this. So I'm going to bring this back to my desktop store back to my desktop let's say I had copied this from somewhere and brought it to this computer I'm gonna show you how to attach it again so now it's of course it's not gonna be here 
so what you need to do is you go over here right click on um, disk management and you say attach a virtual hard drive you browse to the location where it's at which is on my desktop and then I'm gonna select it and say open so now I'm gonna attach it so now my virtual hard drive has been attached again and it's already a, uh, it's it's not already a simple volume where it is so there it is it comes back so that is how you transfer it if you copy this file and took it to another computer that is how you transfer it so I hope I answered your questions and if you have any trouble you know, feel free to leave a comment and I'll see if I can help you thanks